This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A man wanted on multiple warrants is now facing more charges after allegedly ramming a Moses-like police vehicle, leading to less lethal rounds and a taser being used by bail bond agents. With the holiday season approaching, Moses-like firefighters already have their eyes set on Christmas giving. Cheryl and Alan Coulter have been decking out their home for Halloween for years. Myra Cooley Heartland or ACH Volleyball has come to expect success and this season has continued to deliver. From the iFiber One Newsroom, this is iFiber One News and it starts now. A man wanted on multiple warrants is now facing more charges after allegedly ramming a Moses-like police vehicle, leading to less lethal rounds and a taser being used by bail bond agents. Isaiah Ramirez Alvarez is charged with malicious mischief, possession of heroin, and obstructing law enforcement to go along with several warrants, including second-degree robbery and drug possession. Moses Lake Police responded about 8.20 p.m. Monday to a home on South Grand Drive to assist bail bond agents who had located Ramirez Alvarez in a van parked in the driveway. Ramirez Alvarez, known to be a flight risk, was found sleeping in the driver's seat of the van. Moses Lake Police say he woke up, started the vehicle, and rammed a patrol SUV. A bail bond agent then fired two less lethal shotgun rounds through the driver's side window, striking Ramirez Alvarez at least once and breaking the glass. Stop, 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 stop. A second bail bond agent then used a taser on the suspect after he allegedly again backed into the police vehicle and he was taken into custody. Ramirez Alvarez had injuries to his face caused by the broken glass and an injury from the less lethal rounds. He was taken to Samaritan Hospital before being booked into Grant County Jail. Moses Lake Police reportedly found a small bag of heroin in the man's pocket and in the vehicle. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Change doesn't have to be complicated. With a low-profile microwave hood combination that's ready to install right out of the box. It fits in the same space as your under cabinet hood, so you can get your microwave off the countertop and make space for the routines worth keeping. The low profile microwave hood combination from the number one selling appliance brand in the USA. Whirlpool Appliances, now available at more furniture in Ephrata. With the holiday season approaching, Moses Lake firefighters already have their eyes set on Christmas giving. For the second straight year, Moses Lake firefighters have teamed up with the Firefighters for Kids Foundation to collect new and unused toys to be given to children in need throughout the Moses Lake area. Donation barrels have been set up at the fire station located at 701 East 3rd Avenue. Monetary donations can also be made online at firefightersforkids.org or on the Moses Lake Firefighters Facebook page. Foundation officials say the goal this year is to sponsor at least 30 area families. The Spokane-based Firefighters for Kids Foundation was started in 2005 with volunteer firefighters visiting children's hospitals in the Spokane area. The foundation has now grown to provide Christmas gifts and meals, Easter events, and fundraising efforts at both children's hospitals and the run of McDonald House. Last year, the Moses Lake Firefighters Donation Drive helped serve more than 50 children in the community. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Your taste buds bored? Well then bring them to Jay's Teriyaki. Not only does Jay's have a variety of teriyaki dishes, they also offer mouth-watering salads and sides. Call Jay's 509-764-5155. Jay's Teriyaki, located at 123 East Broadway in Moses Lake. Because it's all in the sauce. Cheryl and Alan Coulter have been decking out their home for Halloween for years, but each year just keeps getting bigger. Now, with over 40 inflatable decorations populating her yard, Cheryl explains why it is her home keeps getting more decorations. I love trick-or-treating. I have great memories of trick-or-treating as a kid. It was the best time. You'd fill your pillowcase. And, um, and over the years, it seems that trick-or-treating door-to-door has kind of gone by the wayside. I also would just be so sad if door-to-door trick-or-treating ever died. And so it's like, I want everybody to know. It, you're welcome to my house. On the corner of Crestmont Drive and Inglewood Avenue, the cultures want to keep their home an inviting place for kids to trick or treat, which is why there's nothing explicitly scary among all of the decorations. 
The culture's record for trick-or-treaters in one night is 633, and they would love nothing more than to break that record. The Coulters also go all out for Christmas, and with all the inflatables to keep track of, Cheryl has an effective storage system. So, like all that Halloween out there, all 46 inflatables and all the lights, except for the arches, all sit in these drums. The Coulters are collecting donations for the Boys and Girls Club, and they clearly labeled band behind their home. For those who wish to donate, they are encouraged to. The Coulters will be at home tonight, anxiously awaiting any visitor who wishes to visit them on this Halloween night. I'm Adam Chikoski for i One News. Elmira Cooley Heartland or ACH Volleyball has come to expect success, and this season has continued to deliver on that expectation. The ACH Warriors completed their fourth consecutive undefeated regular season, but still had to win the District 7-1B tournament yesterday. The Warriors opened with the number four seed, Curlew, who they quickly swept aside. The Warriors won the first two games by the score of 25 to nine before slowing down and allowing 12 points in the third set. AC8 swept Curlew in three games and prepared to take on Valley Christian for the District 7 Championship. Valley Christian battled hard through the first two sets with AC8 edging them out 25 to 21 in both sets. The third set, Valley Christian completely gave up allowing the Warriors to steamroll them 25-10. The Warriors have been to the state playoffs every season since 2008. In those 10 appearances, ACH has placed in 8 of them, including a state title in 2010. The Warriors have placed in state every year since 2012, but this year's team is hungry and wants more than just a place. Has the volleyball team here ever been the state champions, like one at all? Yeah, 2010 was the last time. We plan to this year, so it's our plan. We have hitters all around the board, so it's feeling good where the last few years we've had some key hitters where every hitter on our team is a key hitter this year. The Warriors have clinched the state playoff berth and will battle Selkirk for seeding on Saturday. The game will be at Northwest Christian High School in Colbert, just outside of Spokane. The game will begin at 5.30 p.m. and the state tournament will start next Thursday, November 8th at the Yakima Sun Dome. I'm Adam Chikoski for iFiber One Sports. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.